I'm gonna try to make a quick rant about this. Although, whenever I say quick, it always ends up being like 5 to 10 minutes, so honestly, I don't really understand my own definition of quick. Well, it's a good thing it's a remake of that quick 12 minute rant video. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ike, and welcome back to another edition of Bad Ramblings, the series where I ramble on badly. And today's topic is a four panel Yuri manga called Smile Style. A little bit of a backstory before we get started. I first read this around two or three days ago, and then in this afternoon, I was going through some major writer's block and I was frustrated. And you know, I decided to reread this manga and I just I just saw it in a different light. And will I ever stop saying and I don't know, man. Man, I'm looking extra dead in this video. Let me add some color into that. Whoa. So, what is Smile Style about? Yanozaki Yuri is a high school freshman. She changes school in the second semester and moves to the dorm. Before her arrival, there are some rumors being spread in the dormitory. This school is about the daily life of the misunderstood girl, Yuri, and her dorm mates. I like the word misunderstood because for some people who write comedy, they just love uh, the whole aspect of misunderstanding each other. And you know, I feel like a small dose of it is kind of fine here and there, but for this manga, for it to just be revolved around that misunderstanding, it kind of reminds me of Gamers, which I made a review about, and you can just check it out in this fucking corner right here, but, you know, long story short, it was pretty nice for like the first four or five episodes, but then the misunderstanding got even worse, and it, at, it was up to that point where I felt like nothing was happening. Anyways, back to Smile Style and its own one trick pony. The whole misunderstanding comes from uh, her doormates just speculating about her because she's transferring into the second semester, which is a weird time to be transferring. So her doormates decided to uh, think about the reason why she's transferring, like maybe uh, she was constantly bullied, maybe she ran away, which kind of makes no sense, but maybe she had a violent incident, you know, and it just kept on going until somebody said maybe it's a lover's quarrel, and then another comment saying with another girl, and at that point, it just set everybody off, and by the time Yuri comes, all of the girls are scared of her because she might be a lesbian. And then we continue with all the misunderstanding, like the girls ask Yuri what she do at school, like did she have a boyfriend, and she's like, oh no, I don't have a boyfriend, I tend to, you know, play around with the girls, which I feel like it's just her, her own fault for saying that in a weird way, but at the same time, honestly, if they didn't have that fucking rumor that they made up themselves, it honestly would have sounded harmless, you know, like I just play around with girls. Well, I guess I can't say that because I am into girls, so that would sound really weird. Mm. Somebody, preferably a girl who is straight, say it and then send it to me. Don't actually send it to me though, I don't, I don't want your recordings in my DMs. Anyways, what Yuri meant was that, you know, she hang out with girls because that's what girls do. They stick with a group of girls, unless you're a tomboy and then you just hang out with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> However, because of the misunderstanding, she's saying, I play with a lot of girls, the, uh, her doormates are like, oh my god, you know, like, this is just more evidence, this is, yeah, yeah, she's adding more fuel to the flame, she, she might really be gay, just as, uh, just as our assumption had, I don't even know how that sentence was gonna go, actually. I thought some things were nicely put, you know, the obvious thing would be her name. Uh, when her doormates were like, oh yeah, we forgot to introduce ourselves, let's do that. And then she writes her name down, which is Yuri, and the girls are like, of course, of course your name is Yuri. You know? <laughs> After all our assumption of you being a lesbian, of course your name is Yuri. Mm -mm. How is Yuri ever gonna fix this misunderstanding if nobody listens to her? <laughs> She's over here like, I'm not gay, I'm not into girls, what the fuck? And then <laughs> you're still misunderstanding her. And you know, I feel like the the weeb inside me would be like, oh, just uh, fucking become who they want you to be. <laughs> 
But at the same time, my brain is like, you can't just go and assume somebody's gay and then continue that misunderstanding and continue to tell them that you think that they're gay, even though they're like, but I'm not gay. I don't know, maybe I should just turn my brain off for this manga, but when I was reading through it, I was thinking about the time when I was in high school, or you know, just school in general, especially like in middle school and you started like going into locker rooms and shit. Uh, you know, I never really go around telling people that I like girls. One of the only reason why I felt a little bit more comfortable was because I had heard, uh, I had become friends, friends, with another girl who said that she also liked girls. Let's fuck gays. <laughs> the, the, the gay disease. They've, they've come for me. Yeah, that was one of the only reason why I felt a little bit more comfortable within that group to be like, I dig chicks. So there's that. It just reminded me of those times where I'm like, or like how I would feel back in high school if somebody had just gone out and just like appointed me and like, you're a fucking lesbian. Or I guess in a meaner way, it would be, you're a fucking dyke. At that point, I'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe it. How they found out my secret must be all those fucking token lesbians in my stories. <laughs> Just my two cent on this four panel manga where the, the, the punchline is, haha, she's gay. <laughs> and I'm not saying that, I mean, I guess a one trick pony is a negative term, but I, I also feel like if you do it right, it, it, it's still, it would still be a good, uh, comedic act. One of my favorite comedic anime is called Setokai Yaikun Mundo. I can't pronounce it, but anyways, the it revolves around one big fucking joke about sex. Although I feel like Setokai Yaikun Mundo added a couple more flavor into it, but the big thing about it was, you know, all about sex. I guess I should have put this in the beginning, but you should give it a whirl. It's four chapters and they're not that long. You know, you should give it a read and have your own opinion on it. And whether you agree with me or not, then I don't know. I guess we can just take it to the comments. Ooh, it's a comedy art. You need to stop being a party pooper. Ooh, what are you, an SJW? <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm gonna write a more comprehensive rant on my channel's website, ikrod.com, which you should totally check out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I've got my social media. Check me out on my Twitter, my Instagram. Also got my Discord as well if you want to come home and fucking hang out with me and shit, you know? Other than that, thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next video.